Hollywood. It's the, 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 the Tom Mikey Show. Who is this Tom guy? And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning into the Tom Likas Show. This is where America gets together to talk about the issues you really care about. It's a different kind of a radio talk program. We're the radio talk show that is not hosted by a right-wing wacko or a convicted felon. No, I am your host. Write down our telephone number. You're going to need it. It's 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1 800 5 800 866. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. Here we are together again on the radio. We'll be joined later this hour by comedian Pablo Francisco. He's been a guest on our show many, many times. He'll be in here in just a few minutes. And in the meantime, we continue with your telephone calls at 1 800 5 800 Tom. 1-800-5-800-866. Mondo on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, man? Pretty good. Hey, dude, I'm from San Diego, man, and I've never heard of you in my life. I'm 29 years old. I come out here, and I was riding with my boy, and he told me I had to listen to you. And ever since I've been out here in Riverside, dude, you are the bomb, homie. Thank Love you for it. putting all these females straight, dude. I just want to give you props on everything you do. I finally met somebody with a bigger mouth than me. And bigger balls, too. Exactly. I just want to give you pops, dude. If Thank I ever you. see you in the street, dude, I'm buying you a beer, dog. Sounds good to me. Uh, have a nice one, man. Hi, right, Mondo. Appreciate the call. Nice to be appreciated. 1-800-5-800-TOM. Uh, this is Princess. Where do you want Father's no Father Knows Best, Princess? Um, I've never watched Father Knows Best, well, no. it, What's your real name? That's my real name. My father actually named me Princess. She, he named you Princess. Yes, and it's actually given me a lot of life chances, I feel, that a lot of people don't have. Yeah. Because like African Americans. But So you're um, hoping to be treated like a princess, of course. Indeed I am. Indeed I am. So you are already no. trouble going in. No, no, actually not. I, I wanted to ask you a question, Tom. I, I'm really entertained by your show because you say all the things that people might be afraid to think. Because they're just socially totally unacceptable. <laughs> I mean, I don't. I've never heard anybody say as, as uh, outrageous things as I've heard you say, and it's highly entertaining. However, I really want to know how did you come to be so bitter about women? I'm I, not, what makes I, you think I'm bitter? Oh, I mean, because I hold them in such high esteem, and you don't. You you paint them as these. Uh, I mean, the archetype that you paint is like. These these monsters who are completely gold diggers and you know they they just but they're not all gold it. diggers because fat and fugly women are not gold diggers oh, because so they, they can't because be they diggers. can't be gold diggers it's not possible because they can't be I'm not a gold digger and I could be a gold I mean not a gold digger I think that you make women you paint them as these flat characters and there's so much more to them. And it's not fair. I think. I, I, um, give me an example. Give I'm listening. Of, give me an example. Of, okay, so every these low life men call this call into the show and talk about their experience with women and how they, you know, they they got trapped into a marriage and these women are just lying to them and trapping them by getting pregnant um, and how they should never get married. I just <laughs> and and there's never there's never a, a p picture painted about how women are. Intelligent and very wise, and well, first of all, all women are not intelligent or wise any more oh, than no. all women are gold diggers. Let's start with that. Number one, okay. yeah, uh, no, number no, two, exactly. number two, men don't care how intelligent you are. Believe it or not, really, really, we don't. Oh. Uh, we care about how hot you are and how likely it is you are to give it up. Now, you may call that politically yeah. incorrect, but that's how men think. Are you serious? Like, that's such a big generalization. Because it's generally sense. true. Wow. Generalizations uh, are generally true. Well, I just have to say, you're shattering all my pictures of what, you know, marriage can be and what, what life can be. Well, that's be because, because I've been married and I know what it's like. Well, how can you know what it's like with everyone? I mean, everybody's different. Well, oh, I've right? been married to four different women, and they were all different. Okay. And, and by the way, I don't hate any of them. Oh. 
Do you have any, like, are you friends with any women? I try not to be because I've got friends. I, You know, if I'm talking to women, it's because I want to get them into the sack, like most men. Oh, my God. What's wrong with no. not? How do you know? Because I know men who are not interested in getting in my pants. Let's call them right now. Are they gay? <laughs> no. Let's call them right now. Are you serious? Yes, I'll call them right now. I'm gonna put okay. you. I'm gonna put you on hold on one line. Okay. And I'm gonna ask. Uh, just give me a name and a phone okay. number off the air, of course. Okay. And I will call a guy up, and I will find out if there were a circumstance under which he'd like to see you naked. <laughs> okay, fine. Let's really? Okay. Oh. All right, uh, Dean. Are you ready to handle this? All right, Dean is going to take a phone number of one of Princess's male friends. And we'll call him up and we'll see what the deal is. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. It's Nick on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello, Tom. How are you? I'm okay, Nick. All right, so here's the deal. I am in the military, um, originally from Orange County, Huntington Beach area. I'm stationed up in Fairbanks, Alaska. I've been with this girl for about eight months, and I just broke up with her about a month and a half ago. She is a nutcase. She's absolutely out of control. And I get a call from her about five days. Uh, why did five you days have a? Ago. Why the way? Why did you have a girlfriend again, Nick? Could you explain that? Because I was in Alaska, and there's not a lot of pretty women up there, and it was a piece of a uh, piece of booty, I guess. And you had to be. A, it had to be a girlfriend. No, it didn't have to be. Uh, but you, why did you make it a girlfriend? Uh, I messed up on that on that one, Tom. But um, I was still going out, you know, with other women as well at the same time. But she was just kind of a all the one. more reason not to have a girlfriend. Yeah. But anyway, she calls me about four days ago, five days ago, and tells me that she's a week late and that she's taken two pregnancy tests and she's pregnant. That's what they do. By the way, uh, what brand? I want just so I know, so I avoid it in the future. What brand of condoms were you using? Uh, just. Trojan. You were using Trojan 100% of the time? Uh, no, not No, so you that. weren't. But she was on the pill, which... No, uh, no, no, no. She said she was on the pill. Yeah, she was probably But you don't know her. what she was on, if anything. She's a pretty crazy girl. Yeah, well, if, she was, uh, if you were trying to break up with her, I'm sure she stopped taking the pill. Yeah. Right. But uh, you wanted to get laid. Yes. And so uh, you were using uh, skin flute bland uh, condoms. <laughs> yeah, but now I'm I'm getting deployed in September. I'm right. going to be in, be in Iraq for about a year. Yep. And um, I do not want her to have this baby. Her father does not want her to have this baby if she really is, in fact, pregnant, which I still think she's lying. Right. So what's your question? Well, I'm just trying to figure out, A, how can I, you know, I can't force her to go to the doctor with me, you know, right now. But if she's saying she's pregnant, you know, by the time that, you know, it's going to come out or whatever, you know, I'll be, I'm going to NTC, which is in California. And then from there, we're going to Iraq. So I'm not going to be. And she told you she's having the baby. There's no doubt about it. No, well, she, she said she doesn't know, but she's saying that it's not my decision. Right. If 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 she wants to have it, she's gonna have it. Right. But but she knows that she, the only reason she's doing that is to trap me in and keep me with her. So then you have to tell her that you're in love with her and that uh, when you get out of the military, you'll be happy to settle down with her. But here you are about to be deployed. What happens if you get killed? Yeah. You have to tell her that. Yeah. All right. You have to use that. Okay. By the way, that's a good question. Yeah, no, I just I made the mistake by uh, not protecting myself and getting into a relationship. By the way, how long have you been a listener, Nick? Um, probably about four years. Right. What do I tell you about uh, using condoms? <laughs> always. Always use them. No so what, what. what made you think you knew more than I do? Uh, it's alcohol, Tom. <laughs> I see. Yeah. You know, I you know I'm drinking right now. I have a glass of wine right here. Uh, you know, I I how is it that I am not in this position and you are? Experienced. I'm only 20 years old. I guess I'm I, the first really young, time this ever happened to me. I was uh, like 18, 19 years old. Yeah. 
I got, but thing is, when I impregnated somebody, it was somebody who I knew for a fact would have an abortion. Yeah. Yeah, I don't ever, I don't ever want it to get that far. I never wanted it to. Oh, but that's why you didn't use condoms. No, I just didn't use those because I was not thinking. You see. All right, uh, Nick. Well, good luck on that. All right. Uh, now uh, we've got. Uh, all right, uh, now Princess. Here's what we're gonna do. We've, uh -huh. we've got your friend Gabriel on the phone. Hi, Gabe. No, 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 no. He doesn't. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to him, and okay. then I'm gonna get back to you. All right. So you just stay there, and let me get him on the phone. Gabriel. Yeah. It's Tom Likas. Hey, Tom. Dean told you uh, we're on the air, right? He did. Good. Anyway. Hi, Princess. I know. She's, uh, she's on hold. She's on the other line. We have her in the isolation booth. All right. Uh, cause so I can talk to you frankly without her trying to influence what I'm about to ask you. Okay. All right. Go ahead. Now, I know you're married. Yes, sir. Let me ask you this question. If there was any way you could get away with seeing Princess naked, would you take that? Would you take that chance? Would you like to see that? Absolutely not. Why not? <laughs> She's a piggy piggy. That's probably why. Because I'm a happily, happily married man. No, no, no. Don't even. <laughs> don't even. Every happily married man out there likes to look at Maxim or Playboy or porn or go to bachelor parties. D don't even go there with me. Well, that's, a, well, that's a completely different world than looking at one of your... Female friend. Is she hot? Is she hot? She's beautiful. She's no, no, no. Pretty. She's on hold, so you can tell me the truth. Is she hot or not? Is Princess hot? Yeah. Is she hot? Yeah, yeah she's hot. You mean like, a, is she a ten? Yeah, she's gorgeous. So she's, she's like perfect. A, she's like a, um, she's like a really beautiful Diana Ross. All right. So then, tell me why you wouldn't want to see her naked. Because like she's offering it up to you. She's a friend. She's a friend of mine. And, so, you well, know, it's, it's just not what I. I just don't think that about my friends. So you would never. You would never want to have sex with her. No. If your wife left you, let's say your wife boned your best friend, and you were miserable, and Princess offered it up to you on a silver platter, would you take it? <laughs> I, I can't walk down that. that walk trail. down that road with me, Gabriel. That's the road we're walking down now. I, Would I you? Now, your your wife just boned your best friend. You are beside yourself. You're crying. You're upset. You believe she did that to me? And Princess said, "I know what'll make you feel better." And she rips off her clothes and proceeds to want to ride you like a pony. <laughs> what are you gonna say? I would probably say, um. I don't like cowboys. Gabriel, you're copping right. out here. What? You know, she's uh, she's an amazing friend. So you have never, ever thought of her in that way? Never. Not my, for a second. My wife is so hot. The, the, I don't... The, I mean, if you were... Dude, if you have one hot female, it doesn't mean you don't see other hot females and want to bone them. That's how hot my wife is, dude. No, nobody's wife is that hot. My wife is hot. All right, fine. You should see. You should hear me brag. At but one. she just boned your best friend. Not literally. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah. All right. So if she did, and by the way, lots if of my women. Wife, do. If my wife boned my best friend, I'm still so sorry for her. The guy is just, just a hideous, bird-chested, balding, forty-one-year-old construction worker. Uh huh. Let me ask you this question: Is your wife standing within three feet of you now? Uh, she no. is. Come on, she's right there. No. So, I I find this hard to believe. Let me ask Aaron this question. Aaron, you hear uh, Gabriel yeah, here? I'm here. Uh, what do you think about this? What do you think? Do you think uh, seriously? Do you think that Gabriel would not want a bone princess? Actually, I think he wants to. He probably thinks about her when he's alone. Maybe when he's sleeping with his wife. <laughs> that's that's what I'm saying. Holy cow. It's hard to believe. Unbelievable. So, Princess, you've got straight friends who don't want to bone you. 
Now, aren't I'm you, you aren't you offended by that? No, not at all. He, had, so he never glad. has a sexual thought about you. I'm glad, and that's the way it can be. And I don't know why you probably doesn't like black chicks. No, you're wrong about that. How do you know? Is his wife a black chick? No. <laughs> maybe but he's very. He's very. Um, maybe he doesn't. Maybe he's not attracted to black chicks. Perhaps not. I'm not attracted to some people. White guys. Um, <laughs> no, not really. Uh, you're, you're not matter. really. You're not really attracted to white guys. I'm not interested in white guys. All right, so you're friends with Gabriel because he's a nice guy, but he's a white guy, and you would never in a million years want to have sex with him because he's a white guy. Actually, he's not a white guy. He's not? Um, he's black, no. too? No, he's um, he's Hispanic. He's, he's Hispanic. Do you like mm -hmm. Hispanic guys? My first boyfriend was Hispanic. That doesn't mean you I, like them. Oh, yeah. I you do? I definitely like Hispanic. And you, you have never even, uh, on a desperate evening, had the least bit of fantasy, never thought about uh, Gabriel, never said to yourself, oh, I'm going to take that vibrator out just one time, just one time. No, I'm not offended, and no, I have not. I didn't ask if you're offended. I asked if you ever thought about him that way. Oh, no, not at all. Why not? Why? I'm not oriented about by sex. I think <laughs> here in, on this earth. You're not means, oriented by not sex? What does that mean? It means I don't. On it, I don't think about it. I don't need it. You know what I'm saying. So I'm you don't like it. I love it. No. When's the last time you got laid? Um, last Friday, this Friday, this past Friday. Really? Who was it? And it was great. <laughs> really? Who, who who was it? I can't tell you that. I don't mean I don't need his last name. Just did, who was the guy? I mean, does he work with you? Is he somebody you went to school with? Is he somebody you met at a bus stop? Who is he? Oh, he's um, he's he's a good friend of mine. A good friend of oh, so that friend you would bone. So how do you decide which friends you would and would not bone? I don't um, I don't sleep with uh, people that I don't have a romantic interest with. So you're um, in love with the guy you had sex with uh, over the weekend? Yes. I see. And you never, ever fantasize about having sex with men you're not involved with? No. So there's no hot singers, no hot actors, no movie stars? No, honestly. You, you don't people, fantasize people... about Barack Obama? No. Um, he um, He's very attractive, though. I did touch his hand once for five seconds. How'd that feel? Exciting. Exhilarating, no. but I didn't think about sex. I thought about how political he is, how intelligent he is, how much beauty he has as a person. And there are people that are different than the people that call your show and, and the way, you, you know, you for people to be thinking all the time because it's just not that way. I'm, I'm amazed you don't think about sex. Hang on you a are? second. Joe, what did you want to say about Gabriel here? Dude, it's who cares? Just go for it, dude. I, dude, I did my own <laughs> ex lady. <laughs> That's my homie. Like he's like a brother to me, and I still did his ex lady. Does he know? Yeah, he does. He gave more pops to you, dude. Come on now. He's Gabriel. Just says he's he's speechless. Who's this guy? <laughs> Gabriel. Oh, that's me. Yeah, that's it. I'm Gabriel. Yes. <laughs> I'm Joe. Hi, Joe. Hey, what's up, dude? Come on, you should take advantage of this. What's that? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I don't think Joe knows what he's talking about. Bill, what did you want to say to Gabriel? Bill? Oh, Gabriel. Yeah. So I'm saying if Tom's telling you your best friend just boned your wife, you wouldn't do that to Princess? You wouldn't take advantage of that? No, no. She's, I, well, I think, I think, I think. Then you're you're probably a little bit in the closet. I bet your wife bends you over with her strap on, huh? You're uh, horrible. Yeah, actually, she does. Really? No. <laughs> no, I think mean, he's in the closet, I, man. I think Bill. I think I think Bill has said you're a little light. The loafers there, Gabriel. Yeah, you need to go ahead and step out of that closet. I think that there's a, there was a point in my life where I, I reached the threshold of 
of true manhood, and that was to to think with my head and not with my lower head. Oh, now you my. just keep on thinking that. <laughs> Thank you for that, Bill. Let me get J.C. J.C., what did you want to say to Gabriel? Hey, Father, how are you? I'm doing yeah, okay, first son. Of all, first of all, this guy, he knows he will do it. The only reason he's not saying it is because he knows he's in the radio, and then this girl, Princess, knows his wife, so it can get a little complicated. He, he had already had thoughts about it. And about Princess, trust me, Tom, if you take her on a date and you show her your fat wallet, she will go for it with you, too. And you know that, too. <laughs> of course. Blow me up. I blow you up, baby. Now, James, what did you want to say here to Princess? Hey, get Tom. What's up, Tom? Not much, James. Man, I guarantee you, that's a fat chick right there. It took her friend Gabriel. He stuttered. He didn't want to know what she looked like. And he that's probably his wife's friend, so he can't say she's fat. She's fat, man. I guarantee she's fat. Nobody don't want that chick. She's fat. That's why. Oh, I got, oh, oh she, she's a beautiful Donna Ross. That Donna Ross not beautiful. How can you be a beautiful Donna Ross? <laughs> she, she's fat. Guarantee. Tom Princess. Tom Princess. <laughs> Probably like one ninety five or something like that. By one ninety five, no. two hundred. Minus the one, man. She's she's about she's about a hundred pounds. A hundred pounds. Why you were stuttering when you were saying she's, uh, 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 first you couldn't, then, then, oh, now she's hot. Why was you stuttering then? You, you know if your friend is hot or not. Oh, yeah, she's gorgeous. Yeah, but why'd you stutter at first when Tom asked you? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, exactly, because she's fat. Oh, hell no. <laughs> she, she's a piggy piggy. Come on, let, let's, let's keep it real. <laughs> That's why she can't think about sex, because nobody want to think about sex with her. She didn't have sex last week. She didn't have sex last week. She's lying. Give me a break. <laughs> I, actually, I actually know the guy that she's talking about. and uh... Come on. Her dad named her princess because she's ugly, hoping that somebody would see her and think she's really, you know, she might turn into one. Come on, man. Like, let's be honest, man. Come on. I can't imagine the size of your gut. Uh, yeah, it's so it's, it's okay. Just it's around okay. Every afternoon, uh, <laughs> like us. No, no, no matter what, man. Wait, I'm married too. No matter what, I look at my wife friends when they hot, they hot. I'm sorry, I want to see all my wife friends naked. Give me a break, dude. If you don't want to see them naked because they nasty and they got rose, okay? Period. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that, I mean that Period. Be, that may be your Period. case. My Period. wife is. I mean. It ain't, it, ain't, it ain't about what my wife look like, man. It ain't about what my wife look. It look like I know what beautiful is. And she's not beautiful. That's why you don't want to see her naked. Period. <laughs> I, I mean, that, that, I don't understand what your point is. But okay. right. James, thank you. Andrew, what did you want to say to Princess? Father, father, how's Son, it going? Doing okay. Hey, hey, uh, this is Gabriel, dude. I just sent you an email about this. But, uh, you know, Hugh Hefner's got himself three hot girlfriends. And he still looks at other girls. And Princess? Ah. <sighs> You know, she probably didn't even make the dude wear a condom. She ain't on no pill. <laughs> she probably trapping that guy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right, Princess? Is it right? Am I on the line? Am I on the line? I don't know what you're on. <laughs> I don't okay, know what you're on. You're on, Princess. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, Actually, I've never had sex without a condom, for your information. I'm not interested in having kids. I have goals. Um, and kids right now would hold me back. I would like to become a sir. I would like to become an ambassador, ultimately. And I don't have An ambassador? I have kids. <laughs> yeah, to facilitate political healing in the world. Oh. Oh. It probably works at the ambassador room. <laughs> um, and James, whoever James was, he sounds like he's fat. I'm not fat at all. I would probably be considered a little uh, underweight. <laughs> so. 100 pounds in your ass, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are such low lives. I don't understand why. Um, why right. I'm reading a book. Or something. Right. You do not look at women and, and be friends with them. You want to bone them. That's it. No, you want to bone them. Speak for yourself. Didn't you ever learn that? To speak for yourself and not not apply your own experience 
to everyone else's because that's what that's what dumb animals do. They, <laughs> they don't have theory of mind. Honestly, they're not able to separate their own experience from experience of the people around them or the, um, like the creatures the around. Them. Andrew, that's Ambassador <laughs> Princess to you. <laughs> that's kind of like the Oprah show, huh, Tom? <laughs> Women watch this all day. I'm telling you how small your mind is, and you you have no concept of what I'm saying because you don't understand what I'm saying because you're always focused on sex, um, right, well. hitting, having you know sex with women, and you think well, that women are trying to treat people. There's the, you just have no idea how much more there is to women and how much more there is to life than sex. All right, uh, Jeremy, you last last caller here for Princess and Gabriel. Hello. Gabriel, Gabriel, you're killing me, man. Dude, you sound like you got a little sugar in your gas tank, dude. <laughs> Come on. You mean to tell me if your your wife just banged your best friend, man, and nobody, nobody, uh, how, about, how about this? Nobody's going to find out. You mean to tell me you're still not going to take Princess? <laughs> well, you know what? I actually drive a hybrid, so maybe I'm a little bi. Oh, oh my yeah. God. Oh. Definitely, man. Oh, my God. I just can't believe all this stuff. I can't believe it. All right, uh, guys. Thank you so much. Coming up next, we'll be joined in studio by Pablo Francisco. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Yo, amigo. Come join the party of the year on Cinco de Mayo. Broadcast live from Camacho's in the city of industry. For details, go to blowmeuptom.com. The Tom Likey Show. From Hollywood, the Tom Likey Show and 1 800 5 800 Tom. Thank you for tuning in. Thanks for being part of our program. We appreciate it. Pablo Francisco is here. <laughs> That's my Eddie Vedder. <laughs> I brought some ladies down over here. I brought Jim Rome over here. Hi, I'm Jim Rome. going to do it. I'm going to do a million miles an hour. I'm going to do some cocaine. I'm going to do that's my cheesy Jim Rome impression. <laughs> Trojan. You were talking about Trojans. Yes. Earlier. You, know, you never get oral sex with a Trojan because it sounds like a duck. <laughs> Maybe we should take this off. No, it's a... <laughs> Ray Romano having sex. Here we go. Come on, huh? Uh, here we go. Uh, get the ball. Yeah, oh, yeah. You know you want. Uh, well, you know you want. Uh, <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld having sex. Here we go. It was almost there. Here we go. But think it ding 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 dong dong. Take it off. Who's happening? Not much. Just just doing our thing here for God's sake. I was listening to the radio on the way in, man. I love Dino out there. Hey, hold on one real quick. Okay, keep turning your radio down. Shut your cake hole. What's the deal? Quack the cook. That's the guy who answers the phones here. What's going on? How you doing, buddy? You're the best. You're I love you a lot. Shut your cake hole. You know how it is. Here is the all state guy doing penthouse form. I've probably done this before, but here we go. Slowly she unzipped my fly. <laughs> then she pulled out my mammoth of love. Then she was throwing it like a like a twelve gauge shotgun. Next thing you know, I was having an orgasm like a broken sprinkler head. Thank you. You're in good hands. <laughs> you drive good with all state. You get cookies and bonus money and all kinds of great little things you can do. Are you in good hands? As a tooth fairy put a veneer under your pillow, as Santa Claus let it on your roof. Are you in good hands? Are you in good hands? Have you crapped in your pants more than three days? Have you missed a pop up fly ball with the sun in your eyes and messed it up with the whole team? Are you in good hands? You in good hands? Are you? Here's Indian guy at 7-Eleven down the street, burning on on the hot dog machine. <laughs> I'm going to learn to die. Is that my phone? Yes. Oh, sorry, it's not my phone. Cell phone. Calling. I got to turn off the phone, man. Sorry about that. <laughs> sorry about that. Hey, but this is Mondo. Hey, bro, I just come. I tell Tom I like him and stuff. Hold on, I do touch up. I do shut this off. He's Mondo from from San, San Diego, bro. I'm gonna buy you a beer. Make sure you don't buy him B to the E. Budweiser Energy. Have you seen this drink? No. Budweiser with energy. I was up in Las Vegas. <laughs> They're serving Budweiser with. I need more energy in my booze. Now I can smack my wife around a little longer. <laughs> Take that, bitch. Where's the pill? Where? <laughs> what the hell? That's right. You're up. B to the E. <laughs> That's right. I can drive drunk a little longer. <laughs> With Budweiser energy drink. I drink a six-pack of that. I went to the bathroom. And my penis shook itself. Come on. 
<laughs> Take that thing on. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you want to come on down? We're at the Ontario Mills Mall. Oh, that's very nice, the Ontario Mills Mall. That's a you've, you've got out of rehab. Hey, can I help you? No, can I help you? <laughs> What's the deal with that? It's like House of the Dead. <laughs> Reload. <laughs> Reload. <laughs> you know how it goes. I would get my pecker pierced because sometimes I can't get up. I use a magnet. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's that is Jackie Chan at the red light district in Amsterdam. <laughs> you got broccoli here, come be. <laughs> and I know if I want to be at the improv in Ontario, I know the place smells like manure. That's not the the, the like the, the farming stuff. That's the swingers club. There's a swingers club in Ontario. Did you? I mean, and did you know? Just that? one? There's one or two of them. Right? That's what. That's, that's the smell. They serve food. Come over, and bang, and eat steak. Steak and bung bung. Imagine, it, man, my friend went to one of those. One, he goes, dude, I went down there, and I, and my girlfriend, my goes, man, I don't get his girlfriend goes, I get naked, but I don't have sex. I just dance in the lounge while he has sex with people, and, and they have food. Just imagine, I got to get a sandwich. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Right there, we go. That's delicious stuff. <laughs> Good stuff. <laughs> Ozzy Osbourne at Subway Sandwich. <laughs> what do you want? What kind of bread? <laughs> Bill Cosby at Subway Sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of bread? <laughs> we don't have roast beef. <laughs> Uh, Scarface on there. Put some lettuce on there, okay? Put some lettuce on there, okay? First you get the lettuce, then you get the power. When you get the power, you get the black olives. When you get the black olives, you get mustard. Okay, come on, man. Let him build the sandwich. Man, don't make a sandwich. Your sandwich are... Shut up! Okay? I never turn you. Quackity cook. Gary Brucey. Gary Busey had Subway sandwich. Put some whiskey on that. <laughs> get some whiskey. <laughs> Next time you have sex with a girl, do Mr. Magoo. <laughs> oh, oh, you know you want it. You want it wet or dry. <laughs> Take it to the base. Right, Gabby? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and uh, <laughs> so what's happening? Hey, this is Mondo. I'm from Chula Vista, eh? I love the Latinos in Chula Vista. They talk like this. Hey, man, what's up, bro? When you get the ones from Tijuana. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Latinos don't work out at the gym, you know, because they think the, the treadmill is a conveyor belt. Here, put some boxes on it. And let it work. It's Mando. Caramba. No, Mando's a Chula Vista. He's a San Diego American Latino. That's the coolest. You always get the one Latino. Hola. He sounds like Michael J. Fox is a Latino. Hola, ¿cómo estás? Come on, Doc. We got to have those two. Two minutes left, Doc. We got to, come on. Come on, Doc. The flux capacitor, vamos. Es mucho trabajo. Es mucho trabajo. Es caramba. You always get the one with no teeth, though. He whistles when he talks. What's, what's wrong with your family? You need work. Thank you. Roses and oranges. Caramba. They call him Martin Dito. They said that mucho trabajo. They said that mucho trabajo. Okay, that was CP3. Yeah. <laughs> I'm working on it, man. <laughs> we'll take a break. We'll go back with Pablo yeah. Francisco. He's appearing tomorrow through Sunday at the Ontario Improv. If you'd like to see him, you can call this number. It's 949 11 More to come. Tom Likas. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. Tom, you are a god. You are my higher power, my friend. It's the Tom Likas Show. From Hollywood, it's the Tom Likas Show. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. Pablo Francisco is here. Dot com. Pablo Francisco dot com. Go to YouTube. You can go to Frank TV. Pablo dot com. Wait, Frank TV. You see me there once in a while, I guess. <laughs> Frank TV, huh? Don't make fun of Latinos, bro, when you're doing that, man, okay? You think talking about our inflections and we're trying to lick. Come on. <laughs> 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 
Leave me alone. You want it? Um, did you know the first bones were found in Africa? You always get that one girl. She wants to tell you, like, you know, she sees Obama, Rock Obama. Listen, we're all black inside. We are. Oh, yeah. Here we go again. Some white, blonde hair girl going to talk about the fir The first bones were found in Africa. That makes us all from Africa. No, that was a homicide. All right? So the guy from CSI, they go down there, collect it, find the bones, the DNA. Because we're all from Africa. You know how it goes. You know, you know you're in good hands. Is it a big onion ring? <laughs> Mom, Dad, I won the I won the Grammy, <laughs> and it smells like sausage. <laughs> so yeah, single de Mayo. <laughs> oh, was that a? <laughs> pss, pss. Here you go. So come on down. Hi, how you doing? I'm a pothead stoner guy. who gets up in the morning. I'm 35 years old. I get high in the morning. I go to coffee houses and I sing a song that I wrote for my girlfriend called "Can I Borrow Twenty Dollars?" Here you go. Bring, bring, bring. Okay. Here's a Kermit the Frog and and Scarface do a drug deal. <laughs> Hi you. Come on, Yes, venga aquí. It's okay if my friends start a sight to know that everything's okay. Sure, come on in. So, uh, do you uh, have the uh, money? I don't know. So, guys, stop. A little tiny frog. What's the deal with that? Uh, so, uh, this is Piggy. Hola, Piggy. And I'm Tony. So, so uh, do you have the money? I know. So, guys, stop. No. Not with me now, but it's nearby. Ah, it's in the car. It's in the... No, it's not in the car. So, you want me to go outside? we we'll start over? Where are you from, Tony? What difference where I'm from? Hey, coño, listen to me. What are you talking about, huh? You want... Tell me something. Where you get your stuff at? I get myself at Sesame Street. <laughs> well, can you tell me how to get to Sesame Street? Okay. <laughs> that was kind of good. You know. Uh, uh, are you in good hands with all shit? <laughs> you ever smoke them? You ever... Sm What's the job? <laughs> La Vitra. Oh, girl. Yeah. <laughs> Old people should use Viagra so they don't roll off the bed. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're rude. And when they have sex, it's clean sex. Take that, you nincompoop. You know you want it, pizza head. <laughs> Cialis sounds like something you get after sex. Oh, my God, I got Cialis. Right there by my space and bung bung. <laughs> who's driving the smart car out there? Is that you? Is that you who's driving that smart car, the little two-seater? No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> You can pick up. Don't, if, you know what? Don't honk at the person. Just kick them out of the way. Get that smart car out of there. You can pick up some somebody like their King Kong. Let me down. You can actually sm bang that car. Look at here. We got a smart car. Then we're done. Pablo Francisco, see him at the Ontario Improv tomorrow through Sunday. Come on. God's sake. The Tom Likas Show.